Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What's up, guys? It's Tech Guy 411 here on the behalf of LockerGnome.com, and I'm going to be giving you a screencast on how to make your dock a lot more appealing. There are a few small tricks that you're going to do, and I'm going to guide you through every step. This is going to be very simple. The first one is applying a 2D dock instead of a 3D. So what you're going to want to do is head over to Terminal. Once you do that, type this in. After that, just press enter, and as you can see, your 2D dock just appears. So this is very nice, a lot more organized, and a lot more clean looking. You can make it bigger, smaller, depending on how you like it. The next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is only show the apps that are available. Basically, by available, I mean the ones that you're using at the time, active, stuff like that. So as you do see, you see little white dots underneath it. So only the ones with little white dots will appear. So what you're going to want to do is type this in, then press enter. After that, you're going to want to type in kill all dock, and then press enter again. And now there you go, just the dock, just applications that I am using are appearing. So you can make it bigger, smaller, just like you could do with the previous trick. After that, I'm going to show you how to reset your dock in case you don't really like what you have. So what you're going to want to do is type in this, and then press enter, type in kill all dock. So the next trick I'm going to show you is probably my favorite one out of every trick that I'm going to show you. So what you're going to want to do is head over to your preferred web browser, then you're just going to hit it, open it, and then you're going to want to go to this website right over here. Once you do that, you're just going to scroll through all the different um, leopard dock collections that they have and click your favorite one. So after you find your favorite one, you're just going to press download. Very simple, takes about a second to download. Then you're going to want to go over to leopard docs app. You're going to click that, then you're going to click to download it. I already have it downloaded just to save time, I'm just going to bring it up. After that, you can do a couple more options. One, I'm going to show you how to add spacer, which is very simple, self-explanatory. Just going to click to add a dock spacer. Basically, what a dock spacer lets you do is organize your dock a little bit better. So, say you just want your iChat and your internet on one side. You can just move the spacer to wherever you want it. Then, if you want to add another spacer, you just go ahead and click add a spacer. Now, for the main thing is going to be to um, change your dock color. You're just going to go to the file name that you set it as. So, for my case, it is rocks. So, after I have it, I'm just going to press choose. Then, I'm going to go to change my dock. And there you go, my new dock is set and it looks a lot nicer, a lot more colorful, and definitely an improvement. You can do this with every single one of the dock downloads that they had available for you on that web page. So the final couple things I'm going to show you is this little cool thing that looks nice. It's not really that useful. So what you're going to do is hold down shift while you're leaving Safari and press minimize. And it goes very slow and goes into a little file right next to your download page. Another cool thing that you can do is if you press shift on the stacks that you have, so say for the downloads, it's a stack, so it has more than one thing in it. It shows you all the different ones while they pile up in slow motion, which is pretty cool. So if you guys have any questions about anything we talked about, just leave a comment below. And this has been the Tech Guy 411 on the behalf of LockerGnome.com. Thanks for watching.